Brad and Brad. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Brad and Brad here live at GDC. I got my main man Brad from B Rad Entertainment. Hey everyone. Three Brads. What you got for me today? What's hey, going on? So I have a game called Anona. Okay. It's a space game. You explore moons and planets. You pick up resources and you have a 3D printer equipped on your rover, which you use to print out buildings. So That's the idea is to build a colony. Right. Which you know, you're a little rover out on this moon by yourself. You're sent there by us humans. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you're, you're basically like printing out a, a colony for the humans to show up and live in. I like it. I like the it's, premise a lot. Yeah. It's cool. So what, what's, uh, what I really like about the concept, though, is this is that technology that we're working on. Right. So you know, moons, planets, they have tons of resources on them. Mm -hmm. You know, they water or... And, we're looking into ways to, you know, harvest those resources right. to use them in, in 3D printers. Yeah. So, so I wanted to make a game about that. But dude, awesome. Highbrow. Yeah. Highbrow yeah. stuff. You were the guy behind War Games, the video game. That was yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. In this case folks at home don't know, check that yeah. out. It's a good match three. I guess it's more than a match three. It's, it's match a lot. You shoot nukes at people. There you go. Yeah. That's that's the selling point. Yeah, like you is. shoot nukes <laughs> at people. War Games, the video game. 99 cents. Check it out now. Cool. So Thanks, where are we Brad. going? <laughs> well, well, Brad, let's, yeah. ch let's check out uh, a voxelizer that I made. Okay, all right, so, great. So uh, in the game, since you can print out buildings with a 3D printer, I wanted to make a voxelizer, which, if you guys don't know, it turns a 3D object into a bunch of squares, cubes, so to speak. So this one is just a sphere, yeah. but uh, yeah, 824 voxels. I'm already sold. All right, there we go. Let's do, let's do a star real quick, too. Let's do it. Yeah, this one was really cool when we were looking at it earlier. It's rad. Yeah, so in the game, I'll show you guys later, but I wanted to use this voxelizer to show the, the buildings printing out. Just kind of a cool visual effect. Yeah. But here's the game. It's called the Nona. Plays a rover. You're on a moon. Driving around. You know, everything's 3D. Everything it, I've worked on in the past has been 2D. Right. I so, recognize that UI, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the text at least. <laughs> little, little War Games UI yeah. there. Yeah. You know, reuse, reuse. Yeah, why not? It's kind of like recycling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you have energy. So every time you move around, you lose energy. Okay. And you have base. You go back to the base, you regain some energy. That lets you, you know, it keeps you from going too far. Basically. Right. So you can't go too far from the base. Uh, you want to go pick up these resources. Uh, just picking up some water. Uh, there's also, you know, pick up helium. You pick up some ore. I'm just gonna recharge real yeah. quick. Yeah. Go pick up some more. I like the going? skybox, by the way. It looks really oh, good. Oh yeah, check out. So that that. Let's see if we can get that planet into view. But I have a few. Right now, 3D, few objects floating around. Oh, right yeah. Like that like planet's moving. Oh, that's neat. That space guy boxes are always amazing, aren't they? Yeah. 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 And uh, so this game is, you know, it's, it's pre-alpha, so it's pretty early on. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the way that I, I came up with the idea was I was working on uh, a similar game, you know, similar control scheme, except it was a twin-stick shooter. Mm -hmm. And it, I don't know, it's just like, I feel like that's been done before. Right, right. Nothing too exciting about it. And then I did a game jam at NASA. Oh, wow. Like the actual NASA. Yeah. Like spatial NASA. And before the game jam, they had several of the engineers giving talks just about what they're working on. And one of them was talking about the rover technology that they have. You know, we have rovers on Mars and right. the moon or. Yeah, just, you know, Mars pretty much right Hanging now. out, but yeah. Just hanging out. And they're looking at other technologies like 3D printers to... Um, That's smart, by the way. Those NASA folk. Yeah. They, they know what they're doing. They they can do some math, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. They're, they're pretty good at it. And uh, so, yeah, and then another guy was talking about 3D printers and just about how many resources are on the moon and they're trying to harvest that, those resources. Mm -hmm. And... So at the game jam, it was like five minutes before it started. Right. And if people don't know what a game jam is, it's a, you know, it's a set 
amount of time where you make a game. And usually a small amount of time, too. So it's just like a bunch of people collaborating, making games together. Yeah. You spit them out. So this one, it was about 48 hours. 48? At NASA. We're actually on, on the NASA campus here in oh, cool. Mountain View. But, uh, yeah, so I came up with that idea, changed around the twin stick shooter to this. You know, it's more exploration, gathering resources, and uh, you know, building things. So, this is awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. And it yeah. Well, the idea is to get people excited about science and you know, actual technologies that we, we have coming up. Yeah, let's make some shit. What do you got? Yeah, let's, let's build some stuff. Okay, so, let's see. We have we can create a machine shop here. Okay. Great. So yeah, each building is gonna do something you know different. Like the machine shop is gonna be let you upgrade your rover. You know, oh, let cool. you get more energy, move faster, things like that. Uh, you can build them anywhere. Uh, eventually, I want to get it to the point where you can you know maybe move, drag the oh, buildings dang. around. Yeah. And, you know, just be able to customize your city a little bit more. Right. Right. Uh, and just for time's sake, I'm gonna cheat yeah. real quick. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's cheat again. Okay. Why not? Go nuts. Well, why not get 500? Yeah. Uh, actually, let's go over here. So, I'm running around, losing energy. Uh, oh my god, we're going to run out of energy. <laughs> let's build a power converter. Nice. So then, you build this guy, and it'll recharge you. Oh, nice. And that'll let you explore the, the planet, you know. There'll be right. different sized planets and moons too, so you'd be able to hop from planet to planet. Just yeah, hang out. yeah. Okay, so cool. this one it is a little bit small. But, right, right. But uh, it's good for demo purposes. Yeah. And then you can do things like satellite. This will let you download new schematics. Oh, so for new buildings. New buildings, and new tech. Nice. But, and so, uh, if you guys noticed, the the buildings just kind of popping into view right now, right. but. That voxelizer I showed earlier, that's I'm gonna use that to spawn in the buildings. Oh, that's so really they're, cool. they're gonna, you know, kind of voxelize kind of in view yeah. and then and then uh, it'll be there. That'd be a cool touch. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the game. It's called Anona. Yeah. When's it coming out? It's uh it's 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 probably six months out. Six months point. out? Yeah, it'll be it'll be a while. But iPad, iPhone? iPad, iPhone, yeah. All the goodies. Alright, thank you very much, Brad.